Hey there, it's Cindy again. We're still working in QuickBooks 2008. We are actually in Module 2, which is the Getting Started module, and we just wrapped up how to use the Easy Step interview. There was a couple of things in there that it asked us as far as setting up the company name and the company address, etc. And I wanted to take you into a little feature called the My Company Overview and show you how to change those things if you need to. Here's how you're going to get to the My Company option. If you go to Company on your menu at the top, you'll see an option that says My Company. When we went through the Easy Step interview, it asked us to set up our company name and address, phone and fax, etc. And you can see this is the information we set up. You might need to edit this from time to time. What if the company moves or what if you misspelled something? You can always edit this information up here where you see this little pencil. If I click on that, you can see I can edit that, and now I can plug in any information that I'd like. So if I wanted to add the phone number, for example, I could go ahead and do that. All I have to do is click OK, and then you can see it's now changed over here. Now, if you need to change the legal name and address, you can do that the same way. You click the same edit option there. You're just going to come down and click the tab on the left that says Legal Information and then change it there as well. If you want to change your company identification, and that's going to be your federal ID number or the social if you'd use that instead, you could actually edit that right here. There's also a tab for Report Information. This is where in the Easy Step interview it asked what is the first month of your fiscal year. You can also here put your tax year starting month if you'd like. Something else that we talked a little bit about is there was a screen in the Easy Step interview that asked how is our company organized and I told you not to spend a lot of time on that because if you use other software like TurboTax then you could tell it which form you use so that it knows where to pull that information. But again, if you're not using that software and you have an accountant during your taxes, you don't need to change this. Put it on other or none. The last tab on the left is your payroll tax information and this is just a place where if you had a tax preparer that does your payroll and you want to put in their contact information, you could put that in here as well. I'm going to go ahead and click OK and we'll change all of that information right here. Over on the right hand side of the screen you're going to see things like your product name. So this is where you know which version of QuickBooks you're using, if you have a license number and a product number, and if it's activated. At the bottom here, you're going to see different things that Intuit can sell you. For example, the payroll I've mentioned. If you wanted to use Intuit's payroll service, you could. You could turn it on right here and it would walk you through the steps of getting set up. They also have credit card service available. So if you need a merchant services account, you could actually set that up here. You can order checks from Intuit if you'd like, but remember you don't have to use checks from Intuit. They can actually come from your bank or wherever you'd like to order them. There's some other things over here that you might want to read through, and these are all sales, like I said, so if you want any of that, you can certainly sign up for any of that. That's what there is to the My Company Overview. I'm going to go ahead and click the X at the top and get out of that. And we are going to wrap up Section 4. Why don't you join me over in Section 5 and let's take time and look at the screen and identify the components of the QuickBooks environment. Hey everyone, Simon here. Thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe to our channel so you get notified of new videos that we upload. Click over there to get a free two-hour course to learn the essentials of QuickBooks 2018. And click over there to get the complete list of videos in this playlist. I'll see you next week with additional videos.